Hey guys, how's it going? Alex K here. Welcome to Sub Tokyo. Today we're at Tokyo Big Site once again to visit the Tokyo uh, Toy Show 2012. Uh, it's Sunday right now. There's a lot of people heading in and let's go check it out. Alright, welcome to the International Tokyo Toy Show running from last Thursday to this Sunday. Here we are at the Tokyo Toy Show entrance. Let's get in. Here we are. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Here we are at the bottom section of the Tokyo Toy Show. That doesn't roll off my tongue. But anyways, here we are at the bottom floor and there's also... Uh, we're at the West Hall. This is the bottom floor and there's also a top section as well. Alright, let's check out Sega Toys first. Here we are. Okay, this booth starts with Bakugan. And uh, Baku Tech, actually. It's a pretty cool... Dragon looking thing here. It says do not touch. That dude was touching. Here we have Homestar, which looks like an at-home planetarium device. It's called Earth Theater. It's R2-D2. So I get it. Yeah. Here we are at the An Anman section. They have a... I'm from a statue and a bunch of toys. It's the Robo I'm from, man. Oh, 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 he's quick. Oh, damn. He's close to me now. Here we have something that looks like a bread version of Ampaman. Or a realistic bread, I should say. Uh, we're here at the Rangs Japan booth. They sell a bunch of like boomerang looking toys and they have. Alright, so here we have Alex, he's going to ride the horse. So, this is good. so um, there's actually a you know, guest intermission by uh, Spiky 8D here. Anyway, this horse you like. This is scary. I know. As you move, the actual horse. It makes a horse-like motion, you have to, um, kind of, <laughs> rock it, yeah. And you can actually steer it as well, by moving the head. You can, uh, take a weight of up to, um, 90 kilograms, so, you know, even all you adults out there, you can all have, uh, fun with this toy too, when it comes out the uh, Rangs Japan booth. Alright. Yeah. That thing right here. And yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, I was only able to go in a straight line. But it was really cool actually. Um, if I were to have that in uh, like a really wide area, I would be like going really fast. <laughs> but like, I was really afraid of running some little kid over. So, yeah. <laughs> Really cool, up to date Mario plushies. This place has a lot of different plushies and toys and stuff. Uh, World of Peter Rabbit. But over here is the game character corner. They have uh, Sonic plushies. And uh, surprisingly, Zelda Link plushies too. 
from Wind Waker or uh, Phantom Hourglass. Here we have uh, Mame Shiba, cute little bean dog thing. And over here we have Kirby's 20th anniversary with a lot of adorable Kirby and Waddle the plushies. Here's Meta Knight. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. Here's some really cool looking mini luxury cars for kids. They're actually really nice looking. Um, some of them have this uh, steering thing at the back where the adult can actually uh, steer the little car for the kid. But look at that. Really nice design for a kid's toy. It's pretty expensive too, I bet. I get really fancy for your kid. Get him a Lamborghini mini car. Even the wheel is designed pretty nicely. We got Battle Japan selling Pro Action Replay. Pretty surprising to see this here. And this looks like their new uh, controller. The Turbo Fire Evo. Looks like it has a little display and stuff on on the actual controller. It's a screen with a con uh, controller with a screen on it. Turbo Fire and control of your analog stick you can and auto rapid wire uh, auto rapid uh, and change changing the buttons uh, uh, a lot of cool features パソコンからアプリケーションをダウンロードしてもらうと、コンボ機能っていうですね、ボタンを設定して、一つのその機能に、例えばそのワザのボタンを、コンボをセットできるんですね。ワーオ、そういうのもできるんですね。ワーオ
they're being taught. It's pretty cool. Over there, there's a little sky tree puzzle. A lot of activities here to do. All right, Callum and I just had an epic duel of ego, and uh, he won uh, four points to minus 13 points. <laughs> I totally lost. Uh, as you can see, I was playing. I was like playing white. I was playing white. Those are all the pieces that he uh, captured, and then the rest of the spaces calculated resulted to four to minus thirteen. So you win. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, like robotic arm. <laughs> We're at the Cospa booth and they have a bunch of uh, paper craft characters. <laughs> Guilty crown. <laughs> So many. Costumes here. Well, this is more like an outfit, but we have a couple. Here we have a nano block. Looks like some kind of Lego spin off, he said. You can make pretty cool stuff with it, it seems like. Let's get this guy free. We have some Square Enix toys, uh, mostly over here. Uh, what are these called? Uh, Dragon Quest slimes and more slimes and. Pretty cool merchandise. We have some Final Fantasy minifigures. These ones are in the making. Some Kingdom Hearts minifigures. Some pretty badass Final Fantasy artwork. Postcards looks like. And of course, Final Fantasy and Chocobo. We got some Pokemon themed cars. I'm not sure which one it is. There's a Pikachu car over there. The side of that car. And the Pikachu car. Here is the top floor uh, West 3. A lot of booths to see and things to try out here as well. There's a Nissan booth actually, Nissan Skyline. Pretty awesome. Here we're at Paybot or Paper Robots. We have some pretty awesome looking. Paper craft robots, I guess. Um, they claim you don't need scissors or glue or anything. That's awesome. Yep, scissors or cutters, not necessary. 
and there's one gigantic one right here. Man, dude. <laughs> hey, posing for me. Awesome. Got some pretty kick-ass looking costumes here. Darth Vader. Some more Star Wars. Some Batman over there. And Joker costume. Batman. <laughs> and Spider-Man himself. And the costume. <laughs> oh, there's three Spider-Mans. And we have the female version here. Oh, and mannequin. <laughs> yeah. Up, yeah. Next to the big Spider-Man costume we have Mini Spider-Man for your kids. You can be Spider-Man too. Some Hot Wheels, Mattel, Fisher Price. All right, we're finished looking at this area right here. Now we're going to go into the gigantic Bandai area. It's literally like half of this convention hall is just Bandai, and there's a huge line over there that we have to get into. Uh, I know nothing about Pretty Cure, but here's some Smile Pretty Cure statues for you guys. Over here it looks like we have some um, Sentai uh, called Go Busters. Pretty cool. They all look quite different from each other, but this is what they are, I guess. ブースのどこかからビート全スタッフが登場するようです。残り10秒になったら一緒に皆さんカウントダウンお願いします。8、7、6、5、4、3、2、1、0。ビートジェンスタックの登場です。僕は、ルーツの茶師、バンダイジュースか。ああ。俺はビートジェンスタック。まさか、そこに素晴らしいものがあると聞いてきたのか。俺の友達でもある。うん。なんだこの森田は。私
and you toy called Monsuno. And uh, they have this pretty cool looking holographic thingy over here. And this is how the game works. Looks like some kind of board, action board game, maybe. It's a bit like pumps. Uh, gyro, Zeta. I've seen this in other conventions. Uh, some kind of haunted house app for smartphones. <laughs> Alright, Pokemon. Some promotion for black and white too. There's some pretty look cool looking keychains. And uh, more products and stuff. Really, really cool looking down There's something really interesting called Moji Bakeru. It's these little figures, um, but they're actually kanji uh, study tools. Each of these figures go from their kanji form to their animal form. And it's pretty cool. So this is dog, fish, or sakana, furry, bird, and there's a ton of these. Really cool actually. They have a couple uh, displayed here in a uh, glass case. Maybe these are the legendary ones. My kanji level is not high enough to be able to read these. That's pretty cool, nonetheless. So this is how the transformations work. You go from their kanji form to their creature form. Blowing Majinga here, and there's some buttons to push down here, so I'm going to try pushing them. Here it goes. Awesome. Got some Saint Seiya here. Pretty cool looking transforming figures. Kamen Rider and Gundam over here. The A series that I'm watching right now. Very cool. Bye -bye. 
at it. Gundam. Night Man. Let's see what they have here. Here are the Gaging Builder line of Gundams. Uh, there are more toys than uh, Gunpla. They're like customizable uh, Gundam Age toys. Here's the new Gundam Age 3 Orbital. And yes, uh, Gundam Age 2 Dark Hound. The pirate inspired Gundam. Pretty awesome. The Age device that you use for the game. I don't play it by itself, but here's some of the ridiculous combinations you can do with all the parts. And, oh, Gundam HFX. Here are the hydrate ones, and what I'm really here for is the special new release. Uh, this is the Gundam H1 Razor, as we saw before. Really kick-ass looking. And here's another one, which is a variant of the H2 called H2 Ultimus. Has these like pretty sick-looking gun cannons on its back, uh, on its shoulders, and some of the more newer gun guns. Uh, models. Here we have some of the Mega Size Gundam. Mega Size Gundam H2, Gundam H1. Here are the Master Grades. Uh, probably the most high quality uh, gun was in the range of Advanced to Master. And here is the Master Grade H2, which is really awesome. I am planning to get this actually. Uh, we have this model line called uh, Hybrid Grade. Uh, it's these little figure things that uh, you actually use them with your, uh, I guess, smartphone. Uh, and it, it has some kind of AR thing where you can actually interact with the little figure that you buy. It's pretty cool. Oh. So I have headphones right now, but it's making these cool sound effects. And we're outside. Pretty nice view of the surreal shaped building known as the Tokyo Big Site. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. This was our coverage of the Tokyo Toy Show 2012. Those kids were staring at me. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. We, we had a lot of fun and yeah. Uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe and leave comments and suggestions below. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at SubTokyo Blog and on Google Plus. And make sure to check out the blog. I took a couple of pictures, so go check it out at the blog at subtokyo.blogspot.com. I'm Alex K. This was Subtokyo. This is the Tokyo big site. It's not actually part of the building. And I'll see you guys later.